So it's a freezing cold winter's morning and it is the perfect morning to be making some bird boxes. We're in our beautiful garden and here we are, we're all ready to go. This is Andy, our ornithologist, Hello. and I'm Laura. And um, Andy, the other day I bought this birdhouse from my local hardware shop. Did you know? Yes. Okay. And can you tell me why are we making one when I can pick one of these up for about a fiver? Well, there's a number of reasons actually. Um, as much as anything, it's easy and it's fun and you're using up any old bits of wood that you might have lying around. Um, there are good boxes that you can buy. I wouldn't sort of class this as one. It's perhaps a, one that's made quite cheaply uh, for looks. The hole, for example, right. you can see, is kind of halfway up the, the front and it doesn't give much depth between the bottom of the box and the bottom of the hole. So why is that a problem for the birds? Well, that means that um, once the bird, if it used it, made its nest, that would bring it almost up to just below the, the height of the, the hole. I mean, right. a predator could quite easily just, they can just reach in if it was a cat and get the chicks out. Right, so, okay, so. which we obviously don't want. So no, no, that's not ideal. Uh, having a ledge there means, again, predators might, or bird, of some a bigger bird might just, you know, easily perch on there and be able to get right. into the hole. So it's making it easier for predators to get in. So, yeah, that's a good example of a cheap box that isn't particularly well designed for the birds and is cheaply made. So, right, okay, yeah, so that's you can do better than that, and, and it's very easy. And we will to do make better than that. We will okay. do better. And than we will that. show Let's you hope. how to make this. Okay, so we've got a whole range of woods here. We have, yeah. So, oh. we've got these, they're all planks. They are planks, yeah. Um, is there any particular type of wood that we need to be looking at? Uh, really, you can use lots of different types of wood, actually. Um, rough, any old rough bits you've got lying around. It doesn't matter if it's hardwood or softwood. This, these two pieces are softwood. Okay. Um, rough finish, you know, they're not sort of overly smooth or anything like that. And they're the right width, about 100, 150 millimetres width. And that's what ideal. we're aiming for, yeah. planks. This is from my old yeah. chest of drawers. Oh, is it? Um, it's a bit, <laughs> it's a bit horrible. It's all now. right. It's been sat in the garden for quite a while. Yes. But this has got paint on it. Could that be a problem though, if, if I've got a bit of wood with paint on? No, generally not, no. Um, certainly not if it's an old bit that you've had lying around, it's going to be sort okay. of weathered, it's going to be peeling, that sort of thing. So it's no, not no toxic chemicals, to birds? Nothing like that, no. Any okay. sort of finishes that you have on the wood or you want to put, if you want to finish a box, uh, with, you know, treat it, um, well ideally don't bother, you don't need to bother, but um, only put it on the outside and don't put right. it on the, around the hole, on the inside of the hole, because okay. if there's any chemicals in it that the birds don't like or put mm -hmm. off by them, yeah. Okay. Not so avoid, avoid where possible. Things not to use, very thin, untreated interior plywood. It's rather too skinny, I think you'd agree. You know, I wouldn't yeah. like to live in a I house made like out there. Here. I wouldn't be, you see it's got damp there. If it gets damp, you've seen sort of wet plywood. It's just, that's just, um, it's partly because it's so thin and partly because it's not exterior quality anyway. So when mm. it gets wet, it's just going to bow and, exactly. and the, the, okay. the bits of ply are going to just come apart. So avoid very skinny plywood. So generally speaking, almost any wood you've almost got lying around, as long as it hasn't got anything toxic chemicals on it and it's not too skinny, that's Pretty or not too weathered, I suppose, not, as not, well. Not um, cheap plywood, not chipboard. So here's the wood that we've got. How, how do we turn this into a... Like, oh, what's it's the quite stack? straightforward, really. You, um, we really just measure, measure up the appropriate sizes for the, say, back, the front, the sides. Mm. the whole plank and um, saw it, saw it, chop okay, it Okay, so pieces. literally we just saw them down and that's why we've got two bits, front, back, exactly, side. Exactly, so we've got enough for all the different pieces and that's Sounds what. simple enough to mm -hmm. me. So there we go. That's Done. the last line, so. Okay, so we're all measured up. Ready to we've saw. Got our two, we've got the main bit there with most of the pieces measured up. Just need to saw it up now, really. Simple as that. I've, I've written on what they are, just in case we get confused. OK, Which we probably good. will do. Let's get going. Let's yep. get sawing. Okay. I'll do it from this end. Obviously, this bit, if you are not an adult yourself, get an adult to help you. I've got a responsible adult with me, so I'm OK. <laughs> So we've got all these pieces here then, so what's the next step? Uh, I think the next step, before we put it, start putting it all together, we need to drill a, the entrance hole, so this is the front piece of the box. Okay. So we need to get a nice hole drilled. Okay, we have 
have one nice, neat blue tit hole. got some oh yeah we happen to have some rubber here you can use old car in a tube that kind of thing or you can bike in a tube it's obviously it does a number of jobs in this case it, it weatherproofs the roof but you can also use particularly this thick rubber which is actually a piece cut off an old welly so you have some old wellies oh, that right. sort of spring a leak a it's perfect wine. yeah it's really good nice and obviously waterproof Everyone's and um, it's really thick and because it's so thick and sort of flexible, it's got fabric on the back, mm. you can kind of use it as a hinge as well. Particularly the main thing is if I attach it somehow at the back, attach it onto the roof and did it in, we'll have a So we can access it roof. to clean it, yeah. So what, how do we attach the rubber to the box? We use these um, short galvanised nails so they won't rust. Okay. And it's, they also go through the rubber because sometimes it's quite difficult nailing something right. through rubber, it just bounces back. Right. And then we'll put a screw and a bit of wire, and then that pulls it down. So we want that one behind, we want that one sort of down here, and this one up here somewhere. That's it, that's our bird box. So we have the bird box. We want to Here put we it. are. I our think bird a bird box. will flock to that. Well, it's a bit rough and ready, but I think oh, it does well. the job. I've, I think done, that's, I've seen worse. <laughs> I, think, I think it's prettier than Let's that put one, actually. Side to side. See what's, yes. I think that's much better. Big daddy. Let's go and put Let's it up. Let's go and put it up. Find okay. a good tree for it. So we're going to need the hammer. So yes, so I've got a couple of few nails here. We've got the hammer. Yeah, so what sort of thing enough. do we need to consider when we're trying to find a position for it? Um, this, it's better to face them away from any sort of strong winds, driving rain, that sort of thing, and, and away from uh, strong sunlight in the summer months. Okay. So generally that's sort of easterly direction, north, north sort of east. And anything else we need to consider when we're looking at positioning? If it's tits using the box, they like good, reasonable good access, you know, to the box and to the entrance, so they don't want to lots of sort of branches or foliage in front of it. So something they've got a clear view of? Yeah, exactly, okay. and they can fly to and from. And right, OK. Well, That's immediately I've seen this tree over here, which seems to be facing in the right direction. It does, yeah. Nice open view. What do you think about placing it up there? That looks good. Looks yeah? Have perfect, actually, because it's got a slight angle towards us, this direction, which is the side we'll be putting it on, uh, which is good, because it means you, it's a good thing to have the box sort of um, slightly sloping downwards. Okay. I think we said before. So it's so. going to be a good direction. Let's get hammerings. Made for it. Mm -hmm. 